Hello and welcome back to the cove with more EU4 Anglophile. So we've finally managed to get a bunch of our overextension under control, which is very good, but we still have a few rebels to deal with. So let's dive right on in and uh, figure this out. So first of all, we did bring some, uh, some of our army over here, so I think we'll probably go ahead and fix that up. And uh, then these fellows, they do seem to be getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit um, suffering from attrition. So uh, let's quickly pull you into port. That would be good. No need for that to happen unnecessarily. Also, uh, same thing too with these galleys. In fact, we should probably go ahead and uh, maybe pick up an admiral. Yeah, let's pick up one of these. In fact, uh, let's pick up a couple. We have a little bit of diplo power at the moment, and uh, wow, six, six four two. That is fantastic. And a uh, 6443 is also fantastic. So let's go ahead and, uh, with the galley, let's go ahead and uh, give them the greatest advantage there. We've also lost an advisor, so we should pick up a new military one. I think we'll go with, uh, hmm. National Manpower, Port Defense. I think we'll just run with Morale of Armies for now. But we're going to start going to war fairly soon, so, uh, yeah, we're going to focus on a little bit of Europe. We've probably let all of our aggressive expansion tick down a little bit further than what we realistically should outside of our rival. Yeah, Burgundy is down to 59 score score, which is absolutely crazy. It also seems we have picked up a new merchant. So, with that in mind, let's find a new location for him to live. Uh, realistically, we've got a lot of this all very well sorted, so I don't think we're going to bother too much with that. Uh, we have the North Sea. You know what? We could go for the English Channel. Just for a little bit of extra power. But I feel like that may not be the best thing for us. Let's go... Alright, we've worked our way around Africa. Worked our way up through Zanzibar. And uh, over to India. We have Malacca. Let's go for the Malukas. Sure. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's transfer trade power. Uh, that should be fine for now. Actually, hang on. let's just double check. Yes. Uh, that will be more than good enough, I suppose. Uh, maybe it's not optimal, but realistically, I don't think we're really too concerned about our monetary uh, growth at the moment. We are doing more than uh, well enough. Alright, let's see. Trading in space for extra tariff. That is bouncing between us and somebody else, it does seem. Uh, let's see. 57%. Yeah, I think you can get us across here. Let's go to the... Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, boat bomb them. That'll be fine. Now, as soon as we get them there, that's probably what's best. Yeah, if we can get them uh, to dock back up, that would also be rather nice. I believe there is a shipyard here, so that should help uh, improve our... Uh, naval ability just a little bit better. Let's go. If we're to dock on up, I think. Yeah, I think that's the port there. So let's just quickly move you across here. Uh, conversion successful. That'll definitely be helping out all of our newer found uh, colonial nations. So uh, yeah, we'll leave those autonomous uh, missionaries there. Let's also go ahead and. Might as well use some church power. Let's go for... Do we go for some money? We could embrace an institution. That's probably not the worst thing for us. Yeah, let's go for the mercantilism and money. That's not a bad play. Help us uh, save a little bit of cash. Never a bad thing. Yep, there we go. We can embrace the institution. Uh, some mercenary companies are unavailable. But that's not the end of the world. We'll just, uh, yeah, finish up where we can. Alright, so, both of you guys, you can both land in port, let's say. Okay, never mind. Let's just go ahead and uh, close that. That should mean... Yeah, they're breaking up to receive those. That'll be very nice. And then, once we've done such things, we're going to fly over and uh, get rid of these Dionese Separatists as well before we go ahead and attack Venice. Because we need to get a hold of the island of Crete which I think would be rather nice to do. Get us a little bit closer to one of our other missions. So uh, as soon as we can do that, I think that's what we're going to aim for. Uh, we've definitely aggravated the uh, situation down in America. 
there's going to be plenty of uh, unhappy people given how much we have uh, just done to them. So let's go ahead and uh, turn to Europe. All right, let's also drop off these galleys. That is an unnecessary thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, bring you up over there. That'll be fine. In fact, you know what? We'll stay docked up just for one more month, just so we can fully, fully manage our uh, fleet there. No excess uh, problems, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Check time. We are, yeah, right on time. I'm picking. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Rather expensive, but honestly, uh, that'll help us out. You can also go ahead and grab that straight away, which is very nice. And we could almost pick up a new idea group if we so desired. Good grief. Um, hmm. Yeah, we've already hit cap which is not ideal. How much would this cost us at the, this stage? Oh, almost all of it. Yeah, no, that's uh, certainly not worth it to us. Let's go ahead and develop or invest. But uh, first of all, we'll pay for a reduction of inflation. Uh, just keep that nice and low. No need to really worry about that. Keeps a couple extra ducats in the bank. Uh, let's also go ahead and... What do we do now? Develop? I think development is probably our best thing. Yeah, okay, so, uh, oh, we could also found a, uh, tra an Indian trade company. Ooh, that's doable. Let's go ahead and, uh, pick that up. An extra merchant and global trade power and money. Cool. No reason to not do that. And, uh, then what else? Could make a couple more states. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. Either that or, uh, no, there's no unrest anywhere. That's fantastic. All right, then. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I think we're going to develop. Uh, let's develop with um, administrative power. Uh, let's see. Anyone who's particularly low? Not really. Ormond, you know what? We'll bring you up to 10. There we go. And uh, what else can we do? You know what? We'll just do a bunch of other miscellaneous flicks. Uh, we'll make it whatever we can. Uh, there we go. That should do for about now. Uh, we've also got ourselves another merchant, so we should focus on that. Let's go. You know what? Collect from trade down here. That should give us an extra little bit of power. Uh, that's good there, and it turns out we have another merchant as well. Alright, and we get the East India Company and as well. Alright, so, uh, one more, one more merchant to deal with. Where do we want to throw you around to? Uh, let's see. Got a fair bit of caravan power going all the way through there. I'm nearly too concerned. Let's start maybe down in the New World. Maybe... Give them a little bit of excess power. Yeah, I think that's going to be what's best for us. So, let's go ahead and send... Hmm. Do we go through the North Sea? Or do we go... Th no, let's go from Chesapeake Bay. Let's uh, transfer trade power. That'll be fine. Uh, that'll do for now. And uh, hopefully that'll still net us a little bit of extra profit. Right, Colonial Company goes bankrupt. Oh no, we lose 50 ducats. I think we can manage that. That will be easily, easily done. All right, now we also do have some expensive edicts, so you do, do not need those. So let's go for... Yeah, no edict there is necessary. Let's go to the next one. Uh, do we possibly go to trade? No, just the North Sea. That's not important. Um, You know what? We will keep... No, Wessex has no uh, particular land of value, no trade ports for the like. Uh, Essex, you know what? That is uh, the same situation. So let's go no edict as well. Uh, London, oh wait, no, uh, West Midlands. Oh, what? That is a global trade port. Maybe we do go for the. Yeah, let's go protect trade. Put a bit of extra local trade power will help us in the channel, and uh, it's worth it since we have both the uh, world port. Right, you know what? We should also probably go ahead and do that here too. Again, maybe not the 
best use of money. I'm sure that uh, somebody has probably punched the numbers and uh, figured it out. Sorry, crunched the numbers. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, do these. That should be fun. Make ourselves just a little bit of extra cash. Let's also go for uh, a couple of buildings. That's right. We've now picked up a trade depot. So let's go ahead and start increasing some of our trade power there. That will do very, very nicely. All right. Fantastic. All right. Looks like we've occupied some things. That's possibly. Yep. Here we go. Up over there. Let's uh, make sure that we sort out the last of you. Can we... Oh, we're not going to be able to take that, are we? No, we're not. Okay, we need another colonist. I think that's what we've discovered. Uh, yeah, we'll focus on that next time. Alright, so what have we got here? Gain a mercantilism for a stupid amount of money. You know what? They can just lose a little bit of loyalty and influence. Although... Uh, let's see, that'll drop by five. Yeah, we'll still be able to uh, take away what we need to as uh, we try and maximize our absolutism. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, that'll be easy to uh, get rid of right about now. Yep, that works out fine. Let's get rid of the council. Good. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of that too. You know what, we'll hold on to the religious diplomats for now. I'm not really too concerned about trying to get uh, supremacy over the clergy we have the ability to drop their influence down by 10 percent a couple of times so uh yeah we're just going to hold off that for a while as uh, that's basically free to revoke at any given time all right so we'll do all of those let's see can we manage any of these no we cannot call them although uh this one here will be nice to get rid of all right so we'll happily do that and that's the siege of corsica finished all right, let's bring the the army across. Uh, we'll save ourselves a little bit of trouble there. I think these are a bunch of our marines. Yeah, so they cost us in sailors, but we have those in uh, an absurd number. All right, colonial border inf uh, conflict. What have we got? Liberty desire, things like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like we have to pick one or the other. The question is, do we go for the prestige or do we go for the deploy power? Honestly, we can afford the deploy power. It keeps us out of it. Keeps that problem sorted. So I think that will do fine to be uh, dealt with. All right, let's uh, quickly re-siege that as well. A successful raiding of something. That is always good. And uh, what's this? Yeah, more people coming to the faith. All right, fantastic. So... What I reckon we're going to do is we have 20,000 men lying around there. Uh, we should send... Yeah, we should send them over as well. Make sure that they are properly equipped. In fact, uh, yeah, we're a little bit over our force limit. Maybe we should get rid of some of our mercenaries. Let's see, do we have a mercenary company in our army? I feel like we have a couple. So we've got you that we can happily dismiss. And then we have you that we could also try and get rid of. Alright. Um, hmm. Yeah, alright. So what we're going to do is I feel like the unrest isn't too bad. Where we have an active missionary. Yeah, that'll turn fairly easy to control, especially once it's through faith. So with that in mind, and it'll be a four as well. Yeah. I feel like we're going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. No need for paying for them. I know they're fairly cheap, but uh, we're not going to pay extra for them. Seems a little unnecessary. Uh, looks like our Conquistador has almost discovered the last of everything over there. That is nice. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we got all of that sorted. Now comes the real question as to... Uh, oh, yes, we have those rebels we need to deal with. Uh, we'll do that in one second. We'll figure out our colonist first. Let's go. We could take some of this land. Which would be the end of the world. Uh, some of that's actually rather nice land as well. That trade port could be good. Uh, but we don't have any men in the area. And I cannot be bothered sending an army. Let's go. You know what? Maybe we go ahead and uh, we fix this up. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's see, you could be a call, we need one, two, 
yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little out of the way. Let's just check its colonial region. It is colonial Cascadia. Okay. So, okay, so that's where we're at. So that would be California. We've got two down there. We have potentially two up here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we're going to start here and then see if we can tie this in just so it's somewhat connected. Uh, I don't think that there's anything particularly amazing. Uh, that is the California coast wrong one. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and send them. Let's also expel the Irish. Been trying to do that for quite some time, so it'll be good to get back to our grassroots there. All right, and all right, we gained a core province. You guys are able to be cored. I suppose we should. Hang on a second. What would be the unrest? So at the moment, it's minus one hundred and six. Minus one hundred from uprising. Yeah, honestly, I don't think that there's going to be any real trouble there. Okay, cool. So let's just go ahead and call that. We could have converted at first because that probably would have been quicker, but I think that'll be fine. Let's bring these troops down over here. I believe that's where we're starting to do our next colony. In fact, we may even just pay for some extra colonists. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and maybe recall a colonist from one of these other areas. And uh, we will figure out... Let's see. We will send them elsewhere. Alright, so that's fairly close to being finished. Yeah, that's final. Let's go ahead and recall you. Uh, yeah, we'll recall there. That'll still be going. We'll figure that out as of tomorrow. There we go. I will send them to the adjoining province. So we have you sorted out. And then we're going to want... Maybe one a little bit closer and just kind of uh, take over an area as time goes by? Sure. Go ahead and do that. We'll expel... Where are they? Oh, it turns out we can't do more Irish. Oh no, there they are. I just missed them. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of you. Uh, that'll be fine. We'll expel them to the New World. We also have uh, built up a bit of a navy in Australia, which I did forget about. Is that uh, never good? So we're just going to hold down uh, control and click and uh, select all of them. Bring them over to the right location. Uh, let's go ahead and bring uh, rebel suppression. I don't think they're going to need that anymore. And then you are, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about anything over here. I think Australia is going to have more than enough troops to be able to handle their rebel problems. And uh, take out the rest of the tribes. Uh, it's just a question as to whether we can get here quick enough first. So instead of racing around and uh, going to war with Venice right about now, we're going to quickly see if we can manage to uh, bring everybody together. Uh, sort this out without too much trouble. Let's also bring this brig over here. Uh, it'll take a little bit for those troops to catch up. So I'm not too concerned. Uh, that will be 18,000 troops we can carry across. Are there any others in the local area? Uh, looks like we have reformed zealots. Uh, we're going to have to fight them as well. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be doing a little bit more whack-a-mole with uh, the greatly irritating uh, greatly irritating um, rebels. Let's, you know what? Control click, and we're going to send our ships over there. We're going to bring you across. We're going to see if, uh, by, uh, yeah, if by our navy we can get our troops to come together just that little bit quicker. All right, there we go. That'll be fine. Let's say, now let's see. Let's drop off. Let's create a new unit. We'll drop off four thousand men. Uh, that should be eight sixteen. Yeah, eight plus eight is sixteen. Plus two is 18, that'll be fine. Equal numbers will be more than enough. Let's travel ahead and uh, get rid of you guys, because I know that you've existed for longer than the other. The, uh, yeah, those separatists are definitely the ones we need to focus on. The, uh, zealot, the zealot, zealous rebels? That's the word. 
Um, we can handle them because we can always convert them back in a little bit of time. Alright, uh, Hellra, let's go. Let's stand with them against the Pope and see what happens. I, uh, don't see anything bad through trying that. Alright, looks like we have also, uh, given global trade to France. Uh, let's also keep on developing as we can. We'll do a little bit of extra development. That should be fine. Alright, and I feel like that's going to be pretty good. Alright, so... Yeah, all that we need is uh, to have... Oh, looks like these troops did not in the end uh, travel over. 8, 8, 16. Oh, wait a second. That's only 15,000 troops. Oh dear, we have sent the wrong navy. Uh, fifth fleet, yes. You are not meant to be going there whatsoever. Let's bring you back around. Uh, definitely don't want to forget about that. Yeah, okay. And uh, we will recall another 5,000 troops. So that'll be... Let's see. One, two... That should be fine. Collect this unit, and that'll be a total of 14. And we have 15 galleys. Okay, never mind. We will uh, grab all one of them and... Alright, let's just select them all and uh, pick up the 14. We'll get rid of you, and we'll get rid of you. The others can merge. There we go. Now we can go ahead and uh, send them over. That's what we needed to see. Alright, and the Navy is doing its thing, and we have reached the Age of Absolutism. Phenomenal. Okay, so, we will gain objectives if we have three trade companies, multiple universities, a potential for a large army, a Absolutism of at least 90. You're the Emperor of China, I suppose that's nice. Multicultural nation, and then win the religious war. Okay, so I've never come to the peace agreement that we've come to before for the religious war. Seems like we have uh, sort of hit a stalemate, so because we didn't officially win, we're a little bit out of luck. Okay, and then we should probably increase our land force limit modifier, and then work on some uh, absolutism. So, let's go ahead and see our government. We have a maximum of 75 at the moment, so we need to drop... Oh, we have the English monarchy. Right. That does limit us, doesn't it? Ooh. Well, um... That is an interesting situation for us to deal with. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see about maybe, uh... Spending some of this military power and, uh... Maybe handling some of these rebels. Let's go... Right, we're not going to accept those demands. That just seems ridiculous. We're not going to do that either. Anyone that we... You know what? Let's just show our own. Uh, Ormond Separatists. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and handle them. Let's go Harsh Treatment. That should be fine. Uh, do that. Slow down a couple of the Rebels. And then... Uh, yeah, Limerick as well. That's not ideal. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, harsh treatment. This will give us a little bit of extra absolutism nice and quickly when we do such things. It's not by much, but it is a little, and every little bit counts. So, uh, we're just going to run with that for now. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can do? The rest of you, I suppose, can become a new unit. Five and two, that'll be fine. Let's go. Make sure that you're on rebel suppression, just on the off chance that they do need a little bit of help. That'll be fine. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these two before we forget. Alright. Looks like we lost prestige through trying to help out. That is, uh, uncool, but I suppose it is what it is. Uh, we've dealt with those natives. Let's see. Prestige and money, if for legitimacy as well. So, sure, let's go ahead and build the palace. It's, uh, a cool thing to have, so we may as well. We've got more money than what we really need. So, that'll be fine. Alright. Let's land these troops. I will also then go ahead and get rid of those uh, zealots there. Alright, let's go.
Uh, can we leave a thousand men? No, probably not. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be fine. Where are they about to head to? They're about to head over to some other province that I'm not quite sure. Oh, there it is. All right, we can handle that fairly quickly. Um, as soon as we get with this occupation, we'll just march on over and take them out. There we go. All right, well, let's get rid of them. And uh, hopefully they will not teleport before we have any troubles. Okay, it looks like that bar is uh, growing and that's what it would have been. That's fine. All right, uh, native uprising again. Ooh, 1,000 men. It does appear that we are far enough in advanced technology that we are not going to be penalized. That is good. All right, what have we got here? Uh, 50 admin power and military tech goes down for six years. Or gain prestige. You know what? We're going to go with... Um... Hmm. Not really too much we can do. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and uh, keep on spending. There we go. We'll take the administrative power. That'll be nice for now. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's deal with these rebels. Win that occupation back. That would be very nice. Probably should have shifted consolidated, but, uh, it's not really too major of a, uh, of an issue. All right. Now, the question is, okay, here we go. That is the other island that we need to go ahead and re-siege, just to make sure that we don't have any excess problems in the future. Uh, so we do that, and let's bring you up over there. And I think... I think that should be the last of our occupations. So let's just quickly check our stability. That's what we need. Alright, so convert Great Britain. That's what they're after. We're certainly not going to allow that. Uh, the rest of the troops will be fine. I think, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be all well and good at this point forwards. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll bring them over there. And I think we can now focus on, on uh, Venice. All right, looks like we have trading concessions. Okay, so it looks like there is a bit of a trade war. All right, expel our traders in the future. Okay, we could get a trade war. I don't think that that is uh, too big of a concern for us, though. We are nice, beefy, and a little bit scary, so uh, I don't think that they're going to worry too much with uh, whatever we can do. Looks like Bar is looking for uh, some money. How much are they asking for us? That's a lot. No, we're not going to give that to you. That's better spent into our own economy. Let's, uh... Right, 34,000 men. Maybe this is where the 6,000 was supposed to go. You know what? I do feel like that's probably uh, the correct thing. It looks like they just were away from wherever they needed to be for whatever given reason. I uh, will quickly ship them across. That'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. We can split that up a fair bit better and uh, have some decent armies. So, what we're going to do is, I think we're just going to go ahead and declare the war. Uh, there's not much else that we really need to worry about. We can try and threaten them. I suppose we should try. Uh, if we can avoid the war and just take a little bit, I would rather do that. Uh, so, let's see. Sending here. Cargoes. Threatening a war. There we go. For Crete. They will absolutely not give that to us. So I suppose we have no choice but to take it from them by force. So uh, without further ado then, I suppose, let's go ahead and declare the war. And uh, see what we can do. Let's uh, see. We're going to be fighting the Platinate, Tuscany, Provence, and the Knights. The Knights are inconsequential. Provence is a one province minor. <laughs> and... Uh, but then Tuscany, yeah, we might need to uh, deal with them, but that's not going to be too bad for us. Alright, so let's go ahead and confirm, and I think that's probably where we will pick up in the next one. We're going to go ahead, of course, and make sure that we have our best generals uh, in place. We'll go and uh, bring you over here, and uh, we'll get that siege going. And uh, we will finish this war in the next one. So if you want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content. And I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Co. This is the Leviathan, signing out.